guys, it's me, Fantastic Mom. Today I'm making the chicken gnocchi soup for dinner. So several of you asked me to show you how I make it. It's kind of a like Olive Garden copycat, but it's probably a little bit different because there's a lot of different varieties out there that I've seen. But I like this one. I got it off the internet, off YouTube or somewhere, I'm not sure. I started making it. I loved it. And I'm going to share it with you. Even my husband loves it. I can't even believe he loves it. Because he's not a big soup eater. But he loves this stuff. So I got everything already cut up and ready to go. Just so I can save on a, a little bit of time. So first of all, we got to have three tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to let that melt down in my pot. Gotta have one tablespoon of olive oil, so I'm just gonna kind of douse some in there. This recipe is very simple. You can overdo a little, underdo a little, and it's still good. Really good recipe. Okay, now that my butter and olive oil is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a cup of onions, which was like a medium onion. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in some carrots. I like to buy these little string carrots here, just so I don't have to chop them up. One cup of shredded carrots. This is actually about a cup and a half, because I like my soup a little bit meatier. So I always put about a cup and a half in it, just to give it a little extra carrots. Because that's the way I like it. I tried it their way the first time, and then, of course, I had to change it up and put a little extra this, a little extra that. But I'm kind of going by the recipe except I'm going to have a little extra celery and carrots in it because that's the way I like it. I like it a little bit meatier. The next thing it calls for is our celery. I cut up about one and a half sticks of this. It's one and a half cups diced celery going in. Just kind of give that a stir. I'm going to hold my lid here. Just kind of give the butter and the olive oil and the carrots and the onions a good stir. I do recommend using a big pot like you see I have here. Especially if you're going to double your recipe or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of let that cook until the onions get a little bit translucent. And of course this stuff will continue to cook in your soup. When the onions get a little bit translucent, then I will add a little bit of flour. Continue to stir this every, you know, few minutes. Okay, I let my onions and stuff cook for about 10 minutes to get nice and translucent. Now I'm going to add in a fourth a cup of flour. And that's just to be able to thicken up the soup, make it nice and thick. But you do got to let the flour cook because you don't want it to taste like flour. So kind of let your flour cook for a minute into your carrots and onions and celery. Okay, it calls for two garlic cloves, but I don't have any fresh garlic. I'm just using the minced garlic. And I'm just going to squeeze in some garlic. I usually just do a couple of tablespoons. And then later on, after I test it, if I need more, I'll add a little more. Because you don't want too much garlic, and you don't want not enough garlic. It tastes good with garlic. We gotta add in some chicken broth. It calls for one and a half cups. If you want it a little thinner, use two cups. I'm just gonna give that a stir. I just kinda chunk all this in the pot because it hasn't failed me yet every time I do it this way. It is so good. It gets better and better every time. Let's just get all that stirred up into that. 
It calls for one cup of diced chicken. This chicken was just little chicken tenders and I cut them up and cooked them in a little salt and pepper and garlic. Just a little bit, just to flavor the chicken. You can use rotisserie chicken. This is breast. You can use thighs, whatever your favorite chicken is. It's all good. Got my chicken in there. It kind of looks like a pot pie consistency right now. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add in my half and half. Two cups of half and half. This is what half and half looks like if you don't know. that or stir. This is really a simple, simple soup. See how good that looks? So good. I got it right now on about a medium heat because I want it to boil a little bit. You don't want it too high because milk can get all collaborate on you and get nasty. So you don't want that. If your soup gets too thick, you can add more chicken broth to thin it out as you go. Okay, I'm going to put in my seasoning now. I've already got my garlic. It calls for a little bit of thyme. So this is the only thing that I could find at the grocery store was ground thyme. You can use fresh thyme, whatever you got. This ground thyme is good. It calls for one tablespoon. kind of time you want. Give that a stir. It smells so good when you add that thyme. That thyme and that garlic. So yummy. lot of soup so if you got a big family I would might would double this I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit just to get the stuff going usually add in my potato gnocchi after my carrots cook a little bit because it takes a little bit for them to get soft and my celery too so I'll let that cook a little bit and then I'll add in my gnocchi because it only takes a few minutes. Some people cook the gnocchi on the side in another pot. You don't have to do that. Just throw the gnocchi right in there. Okay, and it says put in salt and pepper to taste. So I just kind of sprinkle some salt and pepper in it. And then I'll taste it in a little bit and see if it needs more. You kind of have to go with your own taste buds on this. Whether, you know, some people like a lot of salt, some people like less salt. So I just add a little bit as I go. And if I feel like it needs more, I, I put more until I get it to where I like it. That's why I say this is an eyeball recipe. And as it thickens up, I may put in some more chicken broth. So I'm going to leave my chicken broth sitting out. Got my gnocchi here. And I'm going to let it boil a little bit. And let those carrots get a little soft and then I'll throw in my gnocchi and my cut up spinach and it'll be done. See this nice, see that nice thick soup? That's the way you want it, but if you don't want it that thick, add you a little bit of, of the uh, chicken broth in it. Fix it, to way, fix it the way you like it. But 
it, it tastes and smells good. I tasted it. This is my bag of spinach. I've already took some out, washed it, and cleaned it. Got it on my board. But I wanted to show you guys, I actually take off the stems. I don't like the stems that are left on like this. I don't like those stems, so I always pull those off. I just don't like the stems in my soup. Okay, this is my chicken gnocchi. If you watch my grocery haul, you've seen this. Um, I'll link it up above in the cards. So that way you can uh, go watch that if you'd like. Um, I'm fixing to put the whole pack in. It's just potato gnocchi. And you do not have to pre-boil it in another pot. This stuff cooks so quick. There's no use to putting it in another pot and dirtying up another pot. This is the simple, easy way to do it. Don't that look good? Kind of reminds you of like a chicken and dumpling, but it tastes so much better. <laughs> I actually think this recipe tastes better than the last gnocchi soup that I got from Olive Garden. So if I get a hankering for it, I just make it myself. It tastes so much better, I think. Okay, it calls for one cup of spinach but I like spinach so I will put a little bit more spinach in it this will shrink down I know it looks like a lot but I like a lot of spinach and it'll shrink down no problem see how thick it's thing got I'm gonna have to put some more look at that I'm gonna have to put some more chicken broth in it and maybe a little bit more cream we're gonna let that cook down and it'll be so good y'all it don't look like much right now but I promise you it's really good See that? really good stuff Just mix your spinach in it real good and then let that cook I'll put a little bit more chicken broth in it just because it's thickening up. Because it's got flour in it, it's going to do that. I'll taste it in a little bit and see if it needs any more thyme or salt and pepper or garlic. And I'll put a little dash of that in if it needs it. Hey guys, here is my chicken gnocchi soup. Really good. Soft, carrots are soft, spinach is soft, and it's ready to eat. I do leave a little teeny bite to my carrots. I like a little bite. I don't like them super soft. Of course, they'll get soft for us soup sets, but I do like a little bite with my carrot. Not much, though. Okay, I did add a, more... I did end up adding some more salt and pepper and a little bit more thyme just to taste and some chicken broth because as it cooks it will thicken up and you got to kind of loosen it back up a little. So keep all that in mind. Try it out. Don't be afraid of it. And uh, just go by taste and it should turn out fine. It's really good. A lot of people like to top it with Parmesan cheese. Me and my husband ain't big Parmesan cheese eaters so I normally don't top it with cheese. It's really good with breadsticks too. So that's my chicken gnocchi soup. Okay guys, if y'all like the way I made my chicken gnocchi soup, please go try it out. Make it for yourselves. I promise you it is delicious. And um, go check it out if you'd like. It's down in the description box below. Check out all my links that I put down there. You know, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And 
hit the notification bell that way you can be notified when I upload new videos and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bon appetit!